This is a new EMAC air control. We have a small test unit there to just to show how accurate uh, the adjustment of the airflow can be adjusted. We have three zones now which we can uh, set, set up different. So I just show you uh, zone two because this is connected at the moment. I can uh, adjust this from 0.5 up to 5 liters per minute. So I go to 3 meters so that we see something will happen, uh, a small movement of the foam material can be recognized. So this is uh, 3 liters per minute is already quite nothing. If we go down, so we see now the regulation or adjustment uh, is not ready now but uh, it's 2.8 liters, 2.9 and finally it will come up to uh, 3.0 and uh, the air the, the airflow is very very stable so it takes a while uh, we can see this when we open the control cabinet from the back side now we have the th three valves and you see valve 2 is now uh, 298 and it keeps the flow really very very stable what so we have the 3.0 liters now uh, achieved and from that time on it's stable and you see the movement of the foam this is quite nothing, I just give it a little bit closer that we see something happens. But now I adjust that down to say uh, 1.5 and we will see if there is still a movement. Now you see the rope is still a little bit bended, so there is some, some airflow on, but it goes down now to 2 liter per minute. 0 0.9. 0 0.8. And you see the small gap between the pipe and the foam, and there you see how accurate this is now it's it's coming too close so we move it a little bit backwards just a moment was my my vibration so you see now the gap keeps constant we have now point 1.5 liter per minute and you even cannot see any any movement so uh, so this you cannot uh, feel that the airflow anymore that is just quite less so now I adjust uh, to the minimum of zone 2 which is point 0.5 So the control brings the volume down, we have 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6 and finally we will get the 0 0.5 what we have now and we check once again. So you see there is no gap between the pipe anymore. I move the pipe now a little bit again and we have to wait a little bit so that the movement because of my adjustment is gone 
you see the small uh, gap just this was the, the movement now is from my uh, it was my failure so now the movement is just from the airflow and you see there is quite nothing there is a zero gap a, a small very small movement so you see that something is coming out but the next step uh, will be that we uh, put the pipe to the, uh, zone one where we can adjust from point one to one liter per minute so this is point five wherever this movement is coming from maybe from the airflow maybe just because of uh, some um, other chattering so we see now it's quite nothing there is a small still a small gap but uh, once again to make sure that there is I move it a little bit backwards so now we have a small gap and uh, um, I switch off now the airflow completely so that you see that there will not be any change of the position I switch now the airflow off it's switched off now so now we check again there's a small movement because of our uh, cameraman but you see a little bit chattering but nothing is coming out uh, I will switch it on the camera stays now on the foam particle I switch it on and uh, the system goes up to point zero, uh, point 0.5 liters per minute again you see any difference no there's no difference so this is quite a bit, um, very low volume so but now I switch from zone 2 to zone 3 zone 3 is that zone uh, with the smallest range we can adjust so it's from point 0.1 to one liter per minute so when we go back now and we have some sorry we have now some vibrations we switch it off first so we switch it off first then we check uh, the foam piece and wait until there is no movement anymore or quite no movement as it is now now I switch on uh, the airflow and the adjustment now is to point five so do we see any movement I just uh, switch off the airflow once again without moving the camera so that we have no vibrations so it's switched off now you see there is an airflow now I start with point one still switched off we wait that we have no movement so it's quite nothing now I switch it on at the beginning okay. so now it's switched on adjustment is to point one did we see any movement not really we have point one now there is no movement so can we move to the display point one and now back to the I switch it now to the maximum of zone 3 what is one 
liter per minute so it goes up to 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 Point six, point seven, point eight, point nine, and one. So, uh, what you see here, the distance between the pipe and the foam piece is very constant. There's just a slight movement but this shows you how accurate uh, this uh, system does work. So it's 0.1 uh, sorry it's 1.0 I go down to point 0.5 takes a while, it's now 0.9 0.8 0 0.7 0.6 and now we have the point 0.5, you see the gap is a little bit smaller but still constant. The next step is I move switch it now to point zero 1 again. So adjustment is done, goes down to point 0.4, small Shattering 0.3.2 and finally 0 0.1 and the gap now is less than before. And now I just uh, want to open the control cabinet once again to show you that uh, also the valve itself has some movement but very small range. When we go now to the control panel again. So we have now zone We have it here and it's one one zero three one zero so it's there's a small movement so but this is something nobody can measure anymore. So this is the valve from the zone three, zone two and zone one, which uh, they both uh, are switched off uh, at the moment. So and you see here still the same uh, gap as before we have now some uh, chattering because we uh, have the camera on the table but uh, this is gone now again so the distance between the pipe and the foam particle is very very constant so this is our new EMAC air control for small applications where we have up to three zones each of them can set individual in terms of uh, airflow per minute but also in terms of the range Exponet EMAC air control for the smaller devices thank you